Dean as well of IIFL. Uh, he will he will give us some perspective regarding Ultratech and what's really happening over there. Of course, it's an interesting story. Let's just pull up the stock of Ultratech and probably Binani Industries as well and what's really happening over there. So if I look at Binani, uh, it's absolutely flat down about two odd percent. If I look at Ultratech, again, you know, it's nothing much that uh, one can read into this. Of course, you know, they would only react to these stories, you know, when you have a concrete answer as to what's happening to these particular assets. But I think as of now, uh, the reaction is very, very limited. The reaction uh, is very very muted uh, to this to this particular uh, to this particular story. Okay, Sanjeev Basin is now with us. Sanjeev, do you think it's getting interesting? How Benani will happen? Whom will it go to? And whoever it goes to at whatever price? Uh, I think when when there is such bidding, uh, you know, markets always like like the fact that full asset or full value of the asset is being uh, discovered. Yeah, hi, Pankaj. So I won't go too much into the rhetoric because even we are, it's an ongoing drama which is unfolding on a day to day basis. But, uh, you know, it tells you the value of certain assets, particularly in the commodity space like steel, cement, how valuable they are and what a bargain they are going to be for uh, some of the larger players like Dalmia Cement and Ultratech. Uh, rightly, wrongly, uh, we think Ultratech it would consolidate its position as the largest player. And it would give it a huge, uh, you know, opportunity in the areas where Banani operates. So, yes, uh, everyone is waiting with bated breath that what will be the NCLT recourse and whether, uh, and from this going, it seems that uh, assets are going to be sold at a very, very good, uh, you know, very narrow discount to their prices, which would bode very well for bankers and uh, for uh, the companies itself. So, yes, I think this will be a very, very key development which uh, market will be waiting for. Right, Sanjeev, uh, you know, do you think it's the most positive news for the banking sector because all these assets are getting valued? Correct, Pankaj, and we are in a cycle where globally everything on, on the commodity side, base metals, oil are all in a huge bull market. Locally, you've, ever, you've also seen that construction and correlated activity pick up a lot of pace from the re recent GDP numbers and the growth forecast. And, and that tells you that cement would be in a very, very fine space uh, maybe in the second half of this year. And I think with relatively hardly any more capacities, again, pricing would be at the forefront for the three largest players. So, so, so I think it's a very, very welcome development on what the pricing war is with the one trying to outbid the other on the upside for a change. And I think it will be a very big uh, positive for most of the bankers. Given the, given the overall, uh, you know, uh, overall embroglio which has been surrounding the NCLT. That's right, you know, so you're seeing the corporate wars actually heat up when it comes to these distressed assets. A lot of them, you know, are considered to be lucrative by these cash-rich uh, companies or those with healthy balance sheets, whether it's an Arcelor, Mittal, or now even JSW Steel perhaps is going to get an opportunity uh, to bid for SR Steel after it lost out to Tata for Bhushan Steel and, you know, maybe even uh, and Tata once again for the Bhushan Power in Steel. Now, even as that happens, Sanjeev, you know, you're seeing a very peculiar situation. This is an ETI exclusive story. Um, you know, with banks really being at the forefront of what's also happening in the markets. We saw what the PNB case did to the markets. You see what the potential of IBC also has on the markets. And today, ET Now has exclusively reported how a wing of the government, the Department of Telecommunications, has written an, a letter to all telecom companies um, saying that there has been a serious breach of trust when it comes to Access Bank, that Access has uh, failed to invoke a bank guarantee when it came to Aircel, and therefore, you know, it's in violation of contractual obligations. It has asked all telecom companies to not submit any bank guarantees of Access Bank again. You know, what do you make of this uh, development? You've got a, a ministry of the central government uh, making such statements and publicly to all telecom companies. So, Nayantara, unfortunately, communication is at a very low key. You've seen that in the elections. You've seen that in uh, globally where, uh, uh, you know, President Trump also is having a communication mishap. I would blame it, blame it on Mercury rather than the present situation on a lighter note. However, it tells you that certain large assets like power, infrastructure, steel, cement, you just saw the case where, uh, you know, the, the Bhushan Steel got a huge uh, uh, bid from Tata Steel because it fits into the synergies of a huge bull market which we've seen because of the protectionist measures by President Trump on the U.S. and so on. 
and i think assets are going to be uh, lapped up at very very lucrative prices given the discount so in the medium term you'll have to ignore the rhetoric which is there prices are in your favor you're not at 11000 you are at closer to 10000 levels and if you have been waiting uh, to buy good assets or good stocks then this seems to be a very opportune moment the the underlying uh, uh, you know rhetoric on communication like you said on maybe on air cell and other which have been deeply in distress will continue to play as an overhang but like i said right now is the first time in almost 18 months where stocks are giving you a huge upside potential given that the price correction has been very severe and uh, and and the and and the macros for once uh, you know on the, are seeming to be well poised on the upside in the second half of the year ji thanks so much for joining us uh, with that so that's